Let's talk about the historical significance of menopause and perimenopause. So the earliest known reference to menopause was Aristotle referred to the age of menopause being 40 years. Then a French physician coined the term menopause in 1821. Medical interest in menopause increased considerably in the mid 19th century. In the 1930s, people started describing it as a deficiency disease. Consequently, various replenishment therapies were advocated such as such as testicular juice, crushed ovaries of animals. No surprise, in the 1970s, we medicalized menopause and perimenopause. So in the 1970s, we really changed the way they looked at menopause, and I don't know that it's necessarily a good thing or bad thing, but the 1970s really made menopause medical, and this happened because they started to see that the menopausal symptoms were uh, seen as an estrogen deficiency, and then this made estrogen replacement therapy come about. And the hope was, it was to liberate middle-aged women. Reading along, the synthetic estrogen was developed in 1938, and the medical industry then entered the scenario of menopause in a big way and dominated the center stage. In the 1970s, the International Menopause Society was established, and the first International Congress of Menopause was organized in Paris, France in 1976. Various countries have formed national societies on menopause, and symptomology of menopause differs in different areas of the world. I find this to be very fascinating. How each country and culture views menopause affects how we treat it and affects how we feel, not to mention our lifestyle change. So the symptoms of menopause differ in different parts of the world. So in the West, we are known for having hot flashes. In Japan, shoulder pain, and in India, low vision. This particular article states that hormone replacement therapy is the greatest in the West. So let's keep reading. The age of menopause is also higher in the West compared to the age range of 45 to 47 in developing countries like India. Historically, also a lower age of menopause range was documented in earlier times. This rose to the age of 50 to 51 years in the present era. Overall, women in Western countries countries view menopause negatively. This is contrasted with the positive outlook towards menopause in developing countries like India and also China. So this article continues to talk about basically in our culture in the United States, we do not view menopause favorably. And because we do not view it favorably, this is really a negative impact on women. And yet here we are, nobody's still talking about it.